welcome to this week's video, How to Export Tooth Geometry from Autodesk Inventor's Design Accelerator Generated Gears. This is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and I'll show you how to do this little trick. Here we have a motor and some gears we created using Inventor's Design Accelerator. And what I want to do is export out the spline geometry that represents the accurate involute tooth profile shape, maybe to make this gear in a rapid prototyping machine, for example. Now, where do I get to it? It's not hard, but you do have to know where to look. So I'm going to go to my browser and find where I've got my spur gear generated. I'll right click on it, and here I'll have the option to export the tooth shape. I'll choose that, and an inventor will ask me do I want to export the pinion or the gear. In this case, I'm going to get the gear. I can also set my tolerance, change my backlash, set my backlash options, but when you're ready, go ahead and hit OK. Inventor will go ahead and generate a new part that represents that gear. Now here, you can see I've only got the profile generated as a sketch, so I'm not done yet, but the key is I have the profile. Now I can go ahead and extrude that geometry right through the part using the cut option and make my gear. Once I've done that, it's just a matter of grabbing the circular pattern icon and going ahead and doing a circular pattern and you can make any other finishing touches you might want like maybe key fillets or polishing or something of that sort. But the key is that's where you can get that information from. It's a little tricky if you don't know where to look, but once you know the trick, it's not that bad at all. That's it. A very quick tip this week, but one I hope you'll find useful. Thanks a lot, everybody.